This is Twit. Um, next on the line here. I forgot how these phones work. I press this button, and then Dr. Mom appears. Wow. It's a miracle. Hi, Dr. Mom. Hey, Leo. How you doing? I'm good. Lillian from Long Island. As usual, I'm calling. While you were gone, they added a new ability to the Amazon Home Assistant. Have Bl you heard about Blueprints? No. What's Blueprints? Okay. Go to blueprints.amazon.com. I have and this. Just for, on the name, I'm nervous about this. What no, the? No, you should not be. What's <laughs> Blueprints of my house? What is it? What is the Echo doing? It's letting, you <laughs> it's letting you develop your own individual skills for the Oh, Amazon Smart Home Assistant. I, Echo. I was I was wondering when they were going to do this because uh, that one of the advantages, you know, if you know how to program, you can write your own skills. You could do all sorts of things. So they're they're making it's saying create a personal Echo in minutes. Oh, that's neat. Right. Have you done this yet? I've tried it on a couple of them. I will tell you the ones that looked most interesting to me. Or if you scroll down the list, you see where it says house guest and then pet sitter. Yeah. Which are wait, and then there's babysitter. Yeah. I need this one. Program, right. You program in, you say, okay, Echo, open up the babysitter. And then you can ask it, like, where are the diapers? What's the pediatrician's phone number? I will tell you, though, the only issue I have with it right now, most people aren't smart enough or not savvy enough using it to know that it's there. You have so to have put to a you have to put a post-it note on the Echo that says, "Hey, good buddy, staying in my house. Try this." And you say, "Echo, open my house guest guide," which is right. what they call it. And then and then it'll say, "Oh, hi, this is house guest guide. You want to know how to turn on the TV? Here's how." That kind of thing. That's a neat well, idea. Thing is, especially for the babysitter or the pet sitter, you can say, "Babysitter, what's the number for the pediatrician?" Well, if I have to write all those instructions on a post-it note, I'm going to write them down on a whole sheet of paper for the babysitter anyway. I'm going to do, I like, I think for Mother's Day, by the way, happy Mother's Day, Dr. Mom. Alexa, open my mom's story. And this is what happens. Happy Mother's Day. Jack and Olivia created this story, which is all about their mom, Sarah. Sarah was born in Washington a really long time ago. <laughs> Growing up, she loved to play soccer. These days, I don't Sarah's know. favorite things to do are play tennis and is spend this, time with family. Does this seem a little creepy to you? <laughs> it seems very creepy. I think if time comes on and you're able to link it up to more like smart home devices and stuff to more customize your home, it's a great idea. Right now, they said, "Well, what are some common things we can easily get people yeah. to do?" Because it's questions and answers. Yeah, that's the problem. In fact, in general, uh, and I've and I've played with Amazon uh, skills, Echo skills, writing skills and stuff. You have to, in fact, they even say this, they have a pretty extensive guide for developers. You have to really think in terms of a whole new user interface, listening, questions and answers. And it, it is kind of constrained. It's more limited than you'd expect. So you have to think that way. But I think Amazon's really on the right track here, making this customizable. It just needs to be a little less robotic, a little easier to figure out. I think it's a great idea. I think as they expand the number of blueprints that are out there, yeah, it's going to be a little bit more useful. Right now, they came up with, gee, these sound like a great idea. Let's say something for Mother's Day. Let's write a fairy tale or family trivia. I like that idea that I could, I could, because my mom uh, has many echoes. Uh oh. <laughs> no, that was my daughter calling. <laughs> da, 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 that was uh, Cherokee Nation. What is that? Paul Revere no, and the Raiders. No. Witchy woman. <laughs> Witchy woman. Okay. My daughter one of these days. <laughs> Don't tell your daughter that her ringtone is Witchy Woman. She will not be happy. <laughs> oh, she knows it. She thinks it's hysterical. Uh, my ex-wife, and now she's my ex, so maybe this is why I got very angry. Because I had the chicken dance as her ringtone. Da 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 da. Oh my god! She didn't like that. Quack 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 quack. I can just imagine. Uh, we're still on good terms, thank goodness. Hey, Doctor Mom, it's great to hear from you. Uh, Doctor Mom is rapidly becoming our Amazon Echo uh, expert. I have, you know, we have uh, Mike B in Jersey. He's my TiVo expert. Will you be my Amazon ex Echo expert, Doctor Mom? And I'd be happy to. The next one I want them to please come out with is the outdoor-rated waterproof one. Oh, I know. 
I know, Sonos never came out with an outdoor uh, Sonos speaker, which I, I could never understand why they didn't do that. No, the closest thing I do right now is I have one of those Vox speakers for the dots, you know, VAUX. I mentioned it yeah. a while ago. Yeah. And drop it in, take it outside. We're sitting outside, and then I have to remember to bring it in. Yeah. Dr. Mom lives in Long Island, where everybody spends a lot of time outside during the summer. Dr. Mom, great to talk to you. the snow. And indoors <laughs> during the winter, yes. Happy yeah. um, next week's Mother's Day. Happy, you got plans for Mother's Day? For Is a witchy well, woman doing anything for you? <laughs> Not now. Well, actually, <laughs> I'm going out to visit my daughter. Nice. And we're going to go out with her and her mother-in-law, and we're going to have a, like a three-way Mother's Day. Aww. She there, she's sitting there gestating. It's so funny. Right now, she's like... I feel pregnant. I'm going. You're 34 weeks pregnant. Oh, she should feel pregnant. Oh, first. congratulations! So this is this your second? This is your second grandchild. First one. First, congratulations, Doctor Grandmom. I have all the technology set up. The baby's going to get an echo in their room immediately. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Now, are you, to answer my question from the beginning of the show, are they going to name the baby based on what websites are available? Uh, no, because we already have my last name. I already secured that domain a couple of years ago. Oh, good. <laughs> so we can just give her, him, actually we know it's a boy, we can just give him a name on that website. That's a good, keep the last name, and then just add, you know, Herman at Lillian.com, that kind of thing. That's a good idea. Exactly. That's a good idea. I should have done that, but uh, Laporte.com was taken, even by then. I do have leolaporte.com, but nobody, my daughter doesn't want to be Abby at leolaporte.com. How insulting could that be? Well, I don't want to say my last name is because we're the only no. family of this in the I United know. States. I have not said you, you notice I'm very careful about that. You're, but I'm just saying it's really easy. It's going to, his name is going to be Cameron, so it'll be Cam at. Oh, nice. Com. That's really good. At least he's got an email. Yeah, that's a good idea. And you know, one of somebody was suggesting that, uh, uh, I never, you know, there's, there's always a better parent than you, but somebody was suggesting you set up a always. Gmail account for the newborn and then every, you know, year at the birthday or whatever you send, send her an email talking about her and you know how the year was. And then in, when she's 21, you give her the keys to the account and say, check the uh, inbox. There might yes, be. But are you sure you want them to see what you wrote about them when they were teenagers? <laughs> no, maybe not. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Mom. Great to talk to you.